CSIT in three. Why take four years when you can do it in three? CSIT in three is your pathway to a bachelor's degree in computer science and information technology in just three years. Before we get into the details about the CSIT in three program, let's take a look at why you should pursue a career in computer science and information technology. The information in this chart comes from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics and the National Science Foundation. In the different STEM fields listed across the bottom, the green bar on the right shows the number of annual jobs projected to be available in that particular field between 2010 and 2020. The other four bars to the left represent the number of degrees, associates, bachelors, masters, and PhDs awarded annually in that field. As you can see, computer science and mathematics is the only field where the number of jobs is greater than the number of degrees. In the other STEM fields, particularly in life sciences and social sciences, the number of degrees awarded greatly outnumbers the number of available jobs. This availability of jobs within the computer science fields is just one reason why you should consider pursuing a degree in computer science and information technology. Another reason you should consider a degree in computer science and information technology is earning potential. This is a list of the top 10 major occupational groups by average annual salary as of May 2011. Computing and mathematical occupations top the list at over $78,000. This is $6,000 more than the next highest, which is healthcare practitioners and technical occupations and over $50,000 more than the average annual 2011 salary of people working in the personal care and service occupations. You may also want to take a look at the average starting salaries in 2011. These numbers come from a 2011 CNN.com article. Again, computer science professionals are among the top earners at over $60,000 per year to start. Nursing, accounting, and a few business occupations come in at $50,000 to $59,000. And starting salaries in journalism, social work, arts, and education average $35,000 or less. Computer science and information technology, in addition to being one of the fastest growing, highest paying career pathways, also has many practical and diverse applications within a variety of sectors. Computer science professionals can work for large technology companies like Google, Microsoft, Apple, and Cisco. They also can work for or establish startup companies. Additionally, computer science professionals can work as researchers, doctors, scientists, educators, and much more. Almost every field in today's world has some need for computer science. After the end of this presentation, Take a look at the link in the description below the video to see some of the unique jobs that computer science professionals hold. You'll see computer scientists working in a biology lab, for a fire department, and developing new assistive technologies. Now that you know why you should pursue a career in computer science and information technology, let's talk specifically about CSIT in 3. CSIT in 3 is your pathway to earn a bachelor's degree in computer science and information technology in just three years. This new program is offered in partnership between Hartnell College and California State University Monterey Bay, both located on California's central coast. One feature of the CSIT in 3 program is the defined course pathway, which means students know exactly which courses they are taking each semester. This is a sample pathway for students starting in fall 2013. For the first one and a half years, students take the majority of their coursework at Hartnell College, with one course each fall at CSUMB. Then, for the second one and a half years, the majority of coursework is completed at CSUMB, with one winter course at Hartnell. Additionally, there is a built-in internship in the second summer of the program. The specific courses listed for each semester can be found at the CSIT in 3 website. Another important feature of the CSIT in 3 program is the strong learning community of students and faculty. Each fall, 20 to 30 students begin and move through the program together as a cohort. 
students take all classes as a group and participate in cohort building activities, like field trips and speaker series. Additionally, in order to maintain the required 3.0 GPA for the program, students have access to a variety of support services, including tutoring, study groups, and advising. To help students prepare for life after their bachelor's degree, CSIT in 3 offers career advising, professional development, and graduate school preparation workshops. Additionally, the second summer of the program is set aside specifically for students to participate in paid summer internships with external organizations. CSIT in 3 requires a full-time commitment, and students are strongly discouraged from working while in school in order to focus on academics. Program faculty and staff are committed to helping students find scholarships to pay for school and cost of living expenses. Four years at a public in-state college, on average, costs over $30,000 in tuition. This can go as high as nearly $110,000 on average for private colleges. For students who take five or six years to graduate, these costs can be significantly higher not to mention the added cost of living expenses. CSIT in 3's defined course pathway is designed to be completed in three years. Because of the partnership between CSUMB and Hartnell, students take advantage of significant cost savings provided by California community colleges. In total, a computer science and information technology bachelor's degree earned through CSIT in 3 costs under $12,000 in tuition. Not to mention, graduates will be ready to enter the job market and begin earning money one year earlier than with a four-year program. CSIT in 3 is an accelerated pathway to a bachelor's degree in computer science and information technology. There are also traditional four-year bachelor's degree programs. This snapshot captures some of the main ways CSIT in 3 differs from a traditional four-year program. Prospective students should take these differences into account when deciding if CSIT in 3 is the right program for them. With CSIT in 3, you graduate in three years, and tuition is projected to be less than $15,000 total. A four-year program could turn into five or six years, and on average costs between $30,000 and $110,000 depending on where you go. As a CSIT in 3 student, you will attend classes at two colleges on two campuses, whereas with a traditional program, you will probably take all of your classes from one college. CSIT in 3 has a specific built-in learning community of about 25 students, as well as a group of faculty and staff members committed to the program. Most four-year degree programs are larger, some much, much larger, and it will be important for you to find your own learning community. The CSIT in 3 course pathway is specific and predefined. You know which classes to take at what times every semester. In a traditional program, you, and hopefully an academic advisor, will decide your course schedule to make sure you graduate on time. With CSIT in 3, activities like internships, research opportunities, tutoring, and professional development are built into the program schedule. In a four-year program, especially at a large university, there may be more variety of extracurricular options, but you may need to proactively seek them out. To be eligible to participate in CSIT in 3, stu students need to have graduated high school with a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher and need to have completed Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, and preferably pre-calculus before starting the program. Interested students are strongly encouraged to go to the CSIT in 3 website and complete the Contact Us form in the Contact tab. Questions can be directed via email to csitn3 at hartnell.edu.